I'm Naz Nazawa. I'm an interior designer in San Francisco. And today, I get to renovate a hotel. Not in the real world, in this game. I am renovating. I love it. Boom, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Hi, I'm Naz Nazawa. I'm an interior designer in San Francisco, so I'm so excited today I get to play hotel renovator and make all my wildest hotel design dreams come true. Okay, so we're in the game. We are in the lobby. This is a hotel in New York City, one of my absolute pl favorite places to be. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go down this hallway. Ooh, <laughs> it's dusty. Ew, okay, oh God, these cobwebs are so jank. Oh, look at this sad bedroom. Oh my God, who are you? I don't want to sleep under somebody's face. That's so weird. Ah, this is a horror show. <laughs> this is so bad. So we're gonna start breaking some stuff down, yeah? Look at this crowbar. Okay, we're going in. I'm gonna get rid of that couch. If you hold down the mouse, you can actually get rid of a lot of things all at once. Wild. <laughs> I am renovating. You know like those days you're just having a bad day at work. You just wanna go home and smash things. This is doing it for me. Look at this, I got a little broom. It's so cute. So we're starting with a blank slate now. Um, one of my favorite things to do in design is take a really old home and find ways to make it feel like it belongs today, right? And we're gonna do that today in this hotel suite because that's the kind of hotel that I wanna live in. I'm gonna do panels. And then you hit tab. You can actually change the color of the panels. Look at this. And then if I drag my mouse across this whole area, it just goes, look at that. Now I wanna do the floors. Oh my God, look at this chevron floor. Fun fact, a lot of people don't know the difference between chevron and herringbone, and I really appreciate that this game totally gets it. Stone, let's try stone. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I love it, boom. We got it all done. Look at this, it's a lot of space. Look at these dining tables, wow. And look at this, you can actually change the material of the table. I'm gonna do, I kinda want like a gray table, gray white, let's do it. Okay, this is gonna be my like living area. Sofas, I'm gonna rotate this. I am thinking something round, right? Okay, that's a little too fabulous, let's do. That. If only it were this easy to do real life design, I would never stop working. We are ready to kind of put some final decoration, some lighting in here. <gasps> Should we do gold? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Look at that. This place needs lots of light. All right, we're gonna start with the ceiling light. Oh yeah. But here's the thing, I always like to make sure, especially when it comes to a living space, that you've got lighting around your head, right at the face level. So we do want wall sconces in here. Hotel Renovator has wall lamps for me. And look at how stunning this is. The fact that you actually can see the tone of the light and what the actual spread of the light is as you change, right? Like, look at that. So the lighting's done. I think everything looks amazing. This wall is a little blank. We're gonna put some artwork in. Look, this is the old painting from before. That, that's a definite no. I'm gonna step back. Oh yeah, just a little credenza in place of a sort of proper hallway. I just think it'd be really nice to have somewhere for you to pick up a book, right? Like it feels more lived in, a little bit more residential than a strict suite. Oh, that's chic. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so you have one over here. Rotate you. Boom. Now for the bedroom. Lots of different options. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, oh my God, I don't know. Ooh, chic. I'm gonna choose this guy. And then look at this. You can even choose the pattern. Ooh. Oh my gosh, can you see the color reflecting off the gold? Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> All the fidelity of the graphics in this game is extraordinary. All right, well, feeling amazing. Everything's looking so good in my little suite. We are going to design a dream hotel bathroom that I can be super proud of. We're gonna start with a bathtub. 
So one of the things is I want something deep enough that I can really get comfy in it. This one has like a gold bottom. That's beautiful. <gasps> Look at this. It's like a rose gold with a gold butt. Yes, please. Okay. I am choosing deliberately to allow the faucet to not be exactly centered under the window so that the tub can be centered under the window. And I can change the color of the toilet, which is so funny to me. Uh, have you ever tried to pee into a black toilet? It's terrible. Couples toilets, how intimate. We're gonna delete that, I'm kidding. All right, and now the vanity. Oh look, you can put them whatever height you want. That's really neat actually, because from an ADA standpoint, little known fact, you have to have a different height wash stand for someone who's using a wheelchair. So it's actually really wonderful that the game allows you to decide how high up the wall or how low you want it, so you can accommodate all kinds of guests. I think we did it. I kept things simple. We don't need like lights overhead that much. You need light at your face in a bathroom. Anything overhead, the lighting will actually come down over your face and give you dark shadows. It makes your circles under your eyes look bad. And if you're anything like me, when you're in New York City, you stay out late at night, you wake up in the morning and you're tired and you're puffy and you're haggard. It's the last thing you need. So that's why I only have face lighting in this bathroom. They're at two different heights, but that makes me feel really good. I mean, look at that. And it's done. I'm finished. I am so excited. I can't believe how quickly I was able to do an incredible hotel suite. I would absolutely stay here. Let me give you a tour. All right, so we are in the foyer of this gorgeous space. I love all of the light, right? I love the dining space. I love these sort of two-tone blabo carpets. I also decided this is a dog-friendly luxury hotel. So I've hidden one little dog bed in the corner right there. And then everything else is just like totally chic and friendly, right? As you go into the bedroom, let me show you around. I've got this gorgeous armoire. I love the luxurious lighting in the bedroom. This is so cozy, right? Are you ready for the bathroom reveal? So I made sure there was tons of light and frankly, tons of towel warmers as well. But we've got the gorgeous, ridiculous rose gold tub under the window of New York City. You've got bathroom storage with all these towels everywhere. And then we've got this big, big bath vanity. I've hotel renovated and now I get to hotel stay. We're done with this hotel suite. It's so, so chic. Now we go back and the rest of the hotel remains to be designed. And I cannot wait to get my hands on the rest of this when the game releases. Yeah,